happy sibling shanty, shanty Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> I'm Sky. I'm saying, and we're siblings, and, and we sing, sing sea shanties, shanties and sea shanty, shanty adjacent, adjacent music. music. And it's week seven. It is week seven. Just to add more alliterative nature to yep. the title there. Uh, happy week seven. Yeah. Hope you've had a good week and uh, glad you're back for more shanty mm -hmm. stuff. And shanty yeah. starts with us. And you so know what stuff. else? You know, so the stuff. And you know what else starts with us? Seven. It's and you know, seven. and you know what else starts with us? Sky. And you know what else starts with us? Sagan. And you know what else starts with us? Stormall? That's right! Yeah! <laughs> I knew we'd get to it eventually. That's right. Uh, so today is uh, uh, potentially our, our our first week of Storm Along Shanties. We probably have enough to fill up several. to potentially several. three weeks. Uh, several weeks. Because several also starts with us. That's my uh, new goal now. I'm just going to try to insert as many <laughs> S words into this episode as I can. Okay, you heard it, you, uh, you heard it here, folks. Uh, so, uh, Stan Hugel... Changed from the seven seas. Also, speaking of more alliteration, uh, has this to say about uh, has this about to say uh, has this to say about mm -hmm. uh, the storm along sort of uh, subgenre of shanties. Now, every time I say a word that starts with this, <laughs> if listen, if we had, we need a counter. A counter, yeah. Well, uh, can we'll, you put we'll, that in in post? No. No. Uh, I, I can. We're not that Will high I? budget. <laughs> Will I? No. No. Uh, I could, but I'm not going to. Uh, it says here, a fine old shanty was Storm Along. Uh, like Lowlands Away, it was originally used at the pumps and later sung at the capstan. Uh, although there are those who believe it was built around John Willis, the owner of the Cuddy Sark, which was a uh, uh, famed um, uh, Scottish uh, clipper ship. Well, technically British. Well, no, it was technically Scottish because it's built in Scotland, but the British used it. Anyway, um, of uh, not in considerable fame. Uh, he says, there is no doubt at all, but that it is of black origin and of much older vintage than the Cuddy Sark period. Uh, black songs are to be found with storm along shanty refrains dating back to the 30s and 40s. Uh, here would be the 1830s 18, right. and 1840s yeah. uh, in the... Uh, Ethiopian collections of black folk song, and Ornoff gives one form sung in the 30s by the Hoosiers of the Gulf Ports. Uh, all the variants of this song have come from, or at some time or another, passed through and have been molded in the shanty mart of Mobile Bay. Um, he, uh, he actually talks about Mobile Bay quite a bit uh, in this book as, as like the place uh, to uh, like fine shanties uh that that like every 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 shanty that was a shanty passed through there and like everyone picked up shanties there or learned shanties there or taught shanties to other people or they um, evolved yeah they evolved on through there there and yeah all of it yeah uh so uh so this is uh absolutely a a a a subgenre of black origin interestingly the the tall tale sort of uh, uh uh origins around the character uh weren't published until the early 1900s so it's possible that uh, in fact probably quite likely that the the songs came first and then perhaps the uh, the story rose up around the, the figure perhaps yeah, yeah yeah um but as to as to that figure um, so Alfred Bulltop Stormalong, uh, as the story goes, uh, washed up on the beaches of Cape Horn as a baby, had no official mother and father except the sea, um, already three fathoms tall, which is about 18 feet, uh, for those of you playing along at home, uh, and signed on to the first ship that would have him at the age of 12 under the name A.B. Stormalong. Uh, thus were all qualified seamen afterward referred to as able-bodied. Now, this is actually a little bit of folk etymology, uh, because, so, quick digression here into, uh, uh, actual sailing terminology. Um, so there's different, uh, rates of sailors. Now, rates are slightly different from ranks. Ranks is more like a command, so command structure, whereas a rate has more to do with, um, essentially what you are, uh, capable of doing cleared to do um as well as like uh how much you get paid um and so the the lowest rating would be uh os which stands for ordinary seaman uh and then it, it goes up to as uh which um is actually abbreviated ab 
uh, which a lot of people sort of in pop culture have, have it's sort of evolved. People assume it means able-bodied semen. Uh, in fact, it doesn't. AB literally stands for able <laughs> semen uh, because writing OS and AS because, you know, in ye olden times, uh, everyone's handwriting was not the best. Um, like if, today. Like today. Um, Try if, if some, some of them. people's handwriting. Thanks for that. Um, if some people knew how to actually write at all. Right. Um, and so having A, B, and O, S as two distinctly different um, acronyms uh, was helpful. Right. Made it easier to be able to tell the difference of how you, what the designation was and for, for everyone. Yeah. Correct. But so he, so he wrote, so he wrote his name, A, B, Storm Along, uh, thus giving rise to the Alfred Boltop. Storm along like the full name. Uh, so he he would go on to um, uh, become one of the the few sort of seafaring tall tale figures, uh, similar to a Davy Jones uh, character, um, although much more sort of fondly remembered, um, with a, a clipper ship so big that it needed hinged masts uh, to avoid catching on the moon. Um, hinged masts are essentially they would well you know what a mast is if you know anything about ships it's the big thing that the sails are attached to. Um, and uh, oftentimes, it, really tall ships would actually have these massive hinges at the bottom so that if they were going under a bridge or uh, something else that they needed more clearance, they could literally tilt the mass down um, or, or at an angle to scoot under and then put it back up. Um, so they had hinged masts so as not to catch on the moon um, and so long that there was a stable of Arabian horses on board so that the sailors could get from one end of the ship to the other in good time. Uh, walking took too much time. Uh, he had a lifelong feud with a Kraken. Um, he was he was inadvertently responsible for the creation of the Panama Canal because he fell asleep at the wheel and the ship rammed into the Panamanian coast and just sort of kept going uh, until it came out the other side. Sure. Um, it, uh, it got stuck in the English Channel uh, and the only way they could get it out was by... Um, Essentially, by by uh, wiping uh, both sides of the ship with soap mm -hmm. to sort of to oil sort of yeah, yeah to oil it up to speed it on its way, uh, thus turning the uh, once gray cliffs of Dover into the now white cliffs of Dover. Uh, that's how that happened. Um, as to his ultimate fate, because so one of the interesting things about all of these shanties is that they always refer to him in the past tense mm. as someone who has uh, uh, who has already passed on. Uh, and in fact, uh, almost always refers to um, sort of the, the the burial preparations or uh, the ritual surrounding that. Um, and so it, it's it's interesting that the the character's death is a an integral part, um, or lore. or at least the character's burial mm -hmm. is an integral part of the lore. As for how the character actually perishes, there's as with most tall tales, there's tons of different answers, uh, or there's tons of different uh, tons of different theories or ideas. Um, uh, one talks about that, uh, being a giant, obviously he ate a lot, uh, he had to eat a lot, uh, and, uh, one, uh, one variant states that, uh, one morning that he, uh, that instead of his, uh, customary five sharks for breakfast, he decided to eat six, um, and he, uh, he just, he, he overstuffed himself and, uh, just died of terminal indigestion, which is not really heroic at all. No. Uh, uh, there's two other one. There's there there's two other sort of more popular ones that that are sort of much more heroic ends. One is um, actually uh, uh, almost a little similar to um, actually uh, to the story of John Henry, mm. uh, where although it starts off kind of humorous, uh, he offended a steamship captain uh, seeing seeing smoke coming out of the smokestack. Uh, he thought that the ship was on fire. Um, and so he, and so he dumped water down the ship's funnel in order to put the fire out. Uh, the steamship captain was not really all that, uh, excited about it mm -hmm. and, uh, and challenged him to a race, um, uh, to a, to a transatlantic race. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, Storm Along beat him by anywhere from, you know, hours to, uh, weeks, depending on, um, uh, how you, uh, uh, how, how sort of unbelievable you want to uh, make a, a clipper ship beating a steamship across the ocean. Um, but that he stayed at the wheel the whole time. And eventually uh, this was, this was sort of at the end of his life. And so exhaustion sort of finally took its toll. Um, another story tells about um, 
uh, when he was uh, passing by Florida, there was a tremendous hurricane that was uh, had caught all these ships about and that he he dove into the water and basically grabbed all of the ships, put them on board his own ship and sailed them to the water. But that's uh, after he offloaded all the other ships and having saved them that the the hurricane with sort of its last uh, gust of uh, spiteful, uh, spiteful wind uh, pulled him and his ship up into the sky where they disappeared forever. So there's lots of different interpretations as to how the story ends. Um, and But sadly, the story always does end. Uh, but there's but different the shanties. But the legend on. indeed lives on. And we have three shanties for you today that um, the really, it's, it's fascinating how, and it's also a, a sort of a, almost a, a, a tribute to how musically you can take you know, essentially the same, what is the same idea and create so many different work variations mm. off of it that are suitable for capstan, for pumps, for halyards, um, all these different things. Uh, so we have a heaving shanty, we have a hauling shanty, and we have one that is technically a capstan pump shanty. Um, but there's a cute little anecdote about San Hugel in it uh, that sort of moves it a little bit into the realm of the Forbidder, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. Uh, so the first one is uh, called Stormy Along John, sometimes just called Storm Along John. Lyrics are down Lyrics below. Lyrics are down below. Uh, this one has calls and responses, and it's in C sharp. Mm. Uh, uh, so the first uh, Shanty Man has one line, and then the first response goes, Storm me along, boys, storm along, John. You hold that John out nice and long. Uh, and then the second response uh, actually has this, this great sigh at the end. It's sort of, a, sort of a, a reminiscent sigh, although on the ship it was probably more of like a, ah. Right. <laughs> right. You know. Uh, uh, but it goes like this. Ah, come along, get along, stormy along, John. And that's how it goes. And it just Easy. repeats that pattern uh, three more times. Easy. Yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Are you ready? I think so. All right. Here we go. <laughs> that C sharp for me over time. Sure. Sure. That C sharp. Oh, poor old Stormy's dead and gone. Storm me along, boy, storm along, John. Oh, poor old Stormy's dead and gone. Ha! Ah, come along, get along, storm me along, John. I dug his grave with a silver spade. Storm me along, boy, storm along, John. I dug his grave with a silver spade. Ah, come along, get along, storm me along, John. I load him down with a golden chain. Storm me along, boy, storm along, John. I load him down. With a golden chain. Ah, come along, get along, storm me along, John. I carried him way to Montego Bay. Storm me along, boy, storm along, John. I carried him way to Montego Bay. Ah, come along, get along. Stormy along, John. Yeah, that's yeah, all there yeah. is to that first one. Yeah, it's nice, nice uh, chill. That's how you're chanting. Yeah, like it. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is a capstan chanting and has sort of a, a more, it's also call and response, but this one sort of has this uh, sort of a more perpetual forward motion to it. Sip a little water here because I did a whole lot of talking. Hydration, it's important. This one's an E. It wasn't an E. At least we do it in E. You can do these in... This is an interesting point, too. Of you can do these in whatever key fits yeah, your voice yeah, yeah, in yeah, particular. Yeah, yeah. We, you know, we always try to find... Our ranges are similar, but definitely different. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's obviously got a lot more low range than I do. 
I don't um, know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> so it is, it's always interesting to sing with uh, treble voices or all tenor bass voices mm -hmm. or a mixed uh, set of voices like we are. Um, so you can sing whatever key you want to. Yeah. We try to pick things that are sort of middle of the road for us. Yes. Um, but if you're singing them on your own or you're calling or whatever, you pick a key that works for you. Yeah. So, um, we sometimes will listen to, uh, recordings that we like mm -hmm. and, and sometimes that's sort of the key that's stuck in our head is that yep. key. Yep. Um, or we'll be like, Hey, that sounds good. But what if we pitched it? Just down. down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just slightly just slide, down. Just, just slide, half step. Yeah. You know. Uh, so, again, all of that to say, you sing in whatever key that you want to yes. be there. Whatever but key you're most comfortable with is the right one. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's right. I have to actually teach you how it goes, Responses. don't I? <laughs> this one also is just call and response. It is. Uh, this one's just called Storm Along. Um, that's, that's the other thing is that, like, when you're trying to look these up, and trying to figure out like, all right, when did this one come out? It's just, if you look up Storm Along Shanty, you're going to come up with like about 30 yeah, different like, versions. So you just... Do you mean this one? Or you mean this one? Or this one? one? Nope. This one? Not that or one. How about that Not one? That one. Or Not this one? one? Not this one. Not yeah. this one. Maybe, Maybe that this one. one. Not yeah. this one. Yeah. Uh, so the first response is... Uh, first response is... Way high storm along. Make sense? Uh, the second response is, I, I, Mr. Storm along. Easy. Pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, there's no, no real, no precise date on this one. Early 1900s looks like, uh, although for sure it comes from Canada. Yeah. That much, that much we know. Yeah. That much we know. We love our Canadian friends. We do. Uh, but that's about it for this one. Ready? Are you? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your confidence gives me confidence. <laughs> A stormy's gone, that good old man. Way. Ah, right. right. I was oh like, well, that feels gosh. long. Nope. No, it's just because I scooped up into it. That's all right. That's all right. You do you. A stormy's gone, that good old man. Way high storm along. Oh, stormy's gone, man. Good old man. I, I, Mister Storm along. Well, he's moored at last and he's furled his sail. Way high storm along. He's free from wrecks and far from gales. I, I, Mister Storm along. Oh, we'll dig his grave. Grave with the silver spade. Way I storm along his shroud of the finest silk will be made. I, I, Mr. Storm along will lower him down with the golden chain. Way I storm along each I will dim, but not with rain. I, I, Mr. Storm along, cause Stormy's heard that bugle's call. Way I storm along, so sing. Sturge now on and all. I, I, Mr. Storm along. Yeah. yeah. Really nice chill. I like that yes. about the Storm along ones is that they're all just sort of very, I should say most. I was just going to say, the ones not we're doing all. today are fairly yeah, chill. There's a couple of ones that are, yeah. that are a little bit But a lot more. of them <laughs> are very sort of chill that yes. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there you go. There's two. There's two. And here comes three. Uh, so this one is called Way Storm Along John. Uh, and this one is a, uh, uh used for the capstan or the pumps. Um, so interesting. This is a little tidbit here that concerns, uh, Hugel is when I was doing, uh, when I was doing research. Um, so there's a website called Mainly Norfolk, um, which is a great, great, great resources. resource. Um, uh, it, it will generally have at least some information sort of on, the history of the song itself, but what it's really good for is um, is for finding uh, different versions of folk songs uh, that have been recorded by different people. So, so like you can look up a folk song and find like 30, 30 different versions of it and like links to most of them. 
um, to hear different people's takes on different folk songs. Very, very cool. We will Love link the website. it below so that uh, in case you're looking mm -hmm. for a great, it is a phenomenal resource. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll link that below too. Um, so uh, when I was doing research on, uh, on this one, uh, there's a little anecdote from folk singer Huey Jones, who sang on his album Seascape, a uh, remark that Hugel told him uh, that his uncle used to sing uh, this version of uh, the Storm Along legend uh, to him as a lullaby. Aww. Uh, we're doing it's a so sweet. It's adorable. We're doing a slightly more raucous version. Uh, not that much more raucous. Um, I could def definitely see how, like, you know, if you brought it down a couple yeah. of scales and, like, turned the volume way down... Could definitely work, and I, th I think you'll hear it as well. Um, but uh, this one is also call and response. You may be noticing a, a trend here. Uh, so the first response is, Way storm along, John. Easy enough. Uh, and the second response is, Way, Mr. Storm along, John. Easy. And that's about all there is to it. John is a really good, John and long are like really good vowels nice for you and me to vowel. ring on. I was noticing that the last two shows <laughs> I'm like, man, that sounds so good. Oh. Nice open vowels. Yep. Those are always fun to sing. Oh, yeah. And that's about all there is to it. Just those, uh, just the call and responses. This one is, it's a little bit more uh, rubato. It's not quite as rhythmic as the other two. Yeah. But. Ready? Can you let the C sharp one more uh -huh. time for me? Sure I can. Oh, oh Stormy's gone, that good old man. Way storm along, John. Oh, Stormy's gone, that good old man. Way, Mr. Storm along, John. A good old bosun to his crew. Way storm along, John. A naval seaman, good and true. Way. Mr. Storm along, John. We dug his grave with a silver spade. Way, Storm along, John. His shroud of the finest silk was made. Way, Mr. Storm along, John. Oh, Stormy heard the angels call. Way, storm along, John. So sing his dirge now, one and all. Way, Mr. Storm along, John. He slipped his cable off Cape Horn. Way, storm along, John. Close by the place where he was born. Way, Mr. Storm along, John. I wish I was old Stormy's son. Way, Storm along, John. I built a ship ten thousand ton. Way, Mr. Storm along, John. I'd fill her up with Barbados rum. Way, storm along, John, and every shell bag would have some. Way, Mr. Storm along, John, I'd sail this whole world around and round. Way, storm along, John, with plenty of money I'd be found. Way, Mr. Storm along, John. Oh, storm is dead, old oh, storm and blue. Way, storm along, John. I think it's time to roll and go. Way, Mr. Storm along, John. Oh, storm is gone, what shall we do? Way, storm along, John. Oh, storm is gone, 
and we'll go to where Mr. Storm Along John. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Is your Storm Along yeah. shanties for your sibling shanty Sunday? Yeah. Week seven. Mm hmm. We'll have to, we'll, we'll super. Do, super. We'll do we'll do storm along to electric boogaloo at a, <laughs> no. at, a, at a further at a further point in time because there are more stormier along <laughs> too stormy too, <laughs> too, too stormy, along too along. no no it just gets bad for me no no we will gladly take your suggestions though for the the second week of uh, storm along yep. here so if you have an idea for um you know storm along the reckoning or you know, Start along works. to Tokyo Drift. Yeah, whatever works for you. Uh, we will gladly take those suggestions in the comments. Thank you for those of you that commented last week. Um, particularly, shout out to Katrina, who <laughs> went and looked up um, when stopwatches were invented. Yes. <laughs> um, and they actually would have been invented at the time of that particular song, so people could have been checking a stopwatch. Mm -hmm. uh, so thanks for that deep dive historical accuracy there, Katrina. Um so yes, please do. We do read the comments yep. and uh, often respond, um, and uh, or just enjoy uh, mm -hmm. sharing in the videos that way. So please do if you have ideas or suggestions, or you have an idea for a theme for a week. Um, yeah. We have a lot uh, that we're working our uh -huh. way through, but um, if you have suggestions for hey, here's a would be a great theme. Can you do this for this week? Let us know. I don't With, know. Within we'll, reason, we'll try it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sea shanties that are all about cats or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> that's a tough one. Yeah, but we mm. we will try if you mm. have a really have a suggestion that way. Um, or we'll laugh and keep moving either way. Yep. Um, so all those things linked below. Um, as well as our normal stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah, get your shanty merch. Yep. Yeah. Uh, support local... Uh, Shanty Cruise, where you're going, and um, uh, several other Shanty Cruise. I saw that the Xmas Shanty Man mm -hmm. are, are uh, getting ready to release a double album. Um, so there's a lot of uh, crews out there, yeah. you know, releasing albums and putting things together, and we adore the new Longest John's mm -hmm. album. is awesome. So uh, it's pretty good. Um, and, yeah, so go out and support people and uh, support folk music mm -hmm. and buy stuff and uh, sing stuff. Keep singing as your week goes along. Yay! Um, I don't know. I think it's all I got. It's all I got. Okay. Be safe. We love you. And uh, we'll see you again next Sunday. Bye! Bye! Still you. Mm.